Hi everyone, today, ooh, a lot of feedback. Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking to Crystal Lane. We started working together a while back and she's gonna be sharing a little bit about her story with me. Hi, Crystal. Hi. Welcome, welcome. So I wanted you to get an opportunity to kind of share your story and your progress over the time we've been working together. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you, what was going on when you, start, when you first brought me on board? Okay. So when I first brought you on board, I was experiencing um, an extended period of being in depression, a um, state of depression. Um, come on, why do you give these questions ahead of time? But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was essentially depressed and I think I got to a point in my life where I just I didn't really have any I didn't have much direction. Um I felt stuck and I I felt like I just kept going through the same situation over and over again. Um you know, the same emotions um in my personal life, um you know, with relationships and then work wasn't wasn't that stimulating either. Um, I was depressed. Mm -hmm. I was not happy and I didn't, I didn't feel like I was accomplishing much. Mm -hmm. How was the depression manifesting in your life? Oh man, well the depression, it, it manifested in a lot of ways, especially physically. Um, I was experiencing extreme fatigue. Like I was tired every day mm -hmm. for no apparent reason. Um, I just had no energy. Um, I also, I, I just I didn't find joy in, in doing things. Um, I wasn't eating right. I had a lot of crying spells. Um, yeah, that was the physical manifestation. And I think I was even experiencing a lot of panic attacks at work. Um, and then as far as like, um, emotionally, I just, I felt, I felt very, um, again, just like I, I didn't have a lot of self-worth. Um, I felt like I, I couldn't see past the immediate situation that I was in. I couldn't see past the immediate pain. I just felt like, okay, this is my life and this is how I'm going to feel forever, which is crappy, depressed, and like, I haven't amounted much in my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So you were going through this feeling. So why did you decide to work with me? Uh, <laughs> well, I took a leap of faith to work with you. Um, I, I felt like I had already, I had already tried a lot of, a lot of different things. Um, I'm no stranger to counseling. I think I, I might have been seeing a counselor like, um, earlier, the, earlier in the year before I reached out to you. But to me, like going to therapy, it just seemed like it was, it was just the same, the same, um, TV episode playing over and over again. You know, you, you get a therapist, you sit down and you repeat yourself over and over and over and over again. And <laughs> to me, it wasn't working. Uh, I felt like I needed something completely different from what I was used to. Mm -hmm. And I've never worked with a life coach before. Um, I didn't know many people who have, but it, it seemed like okay, maybe this is, maybe this is something that could work. Mm -hmm. Seeing you on social media, um, we have mutual friends. And so, you know, I've always enjoyed reading your, your posts, your newsletters, they're very inspirational. Um, and they didn't seem like, you know, pie in the sky. Oh, you know, you work with me in five minutes, you'll be a millionaire, <laughs> miraculous, uh, whatever. No, it, I mean, it seemed very genuine and very real. So I decided to take a leap of faith and to reach out um, because I, I felt like I had no other options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we start working together and then what happens? <laughs> I, I made a friend. Um, <laughs> I mean, this has been a journey. Uh, it's, it's been a journey. It's been all, well, shy, a little shy of a year. A little but shy of a year. A little shy of a year. And, you know, working with you has been... It's, it's been amazing. I mean, you give amazing feedback and you have very, really have a way of, you know, um, helping me to change my perspective on things. And you challenged me um, and held me accountable for a lot of things. Um, you know, we've, we've done work. Um, after every session we had, you would always give me an assignment. Um, and and a, everything is pretty much geared towards me looking back at myself to really get a clear picture of what my situation is, mm -hmm. um, like what's really going on with me and how I could change it. Um, never been, you know, any, it's never been anything that I didn't have control over. Mm -hmm. I think that I, I, you know, during my downtime, my, my low periods in life, I felt like I lost control or I didn't have control over a lot of things. But working with you, it showed me like, no, no, this is a, a lot of what you're going through has to do with like your negative thought patterns or some of the actions that you, you've taken. Um, and this is how you could start to think of your situation in a different way and turn it around. Mm -hmm. You know, you challenged me to, to do a lot of different things. Um, and I, some of them were met with resistance. Um, <laughs> I love how you say that. <laughs> yeah, so, some was met with resistance, but you know, you've been persistent and you, you haven't let up um, with me, you know, again, journaling. <laughs> I know that's a big thing. Um, and you know, reading books and and tracking and monitoring, you know, certain things, whether it's my what I eat versus how I feel. Um, so working with you has definitely been an experience and I feel like you've helped me to to get to know myself better. Mm -hmm. Um and and thinking back, you know, it's I may have thought I you know, struggled in one area um, or like, I, I, oh, I've never thought that or I didn't have the capacity to do that, but I did. Like, there's a lot of things that were already inside of me mm -hmm. that you helped me to just pull out and, you know, sort through. Mm -hmm. um, so I, that's been a good experience. Okay. That's been a good experience. So we've been working out, you say almost a little bit, under a year, actually. Um, mm -hmm. How has your life changed since you were depressed? Uh, how are you doing now? Oh, my life is. <laughs> it's a lot of change, a lot of change. Um, I'm not depressed anymore. Um, but again, that took a lot of, that took a lot of work. Um, it basically just re reworking my, my thought pattern. Um, I've started... I'm working out again. Mm -hmm. Actually, what am I talking about? I never worked out. I started. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've started um, taking a, a closer look at my diet. Mm -hmm. um, with you know, I've been doing this elimination diet, trying to figure out like what foods really don't agree with my body. Um, I've started reading. I've actually read like two books. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, <laughs> there's, I have, I have like, um, you know, my weekly planner. Like now I have like, you know, my little whiteboard on my refrigerator and I'm a bit more organized. Um, what else am I doing? I, I think overall, I'm just genuinely loving on myself um i'm not as hard on myself mm -hmm. 
more grace. Um, and when something comes up, like when some type of negative emotion or, or, or just something that would typically trigger me when it comes, I, I stop and think, um, and really trying to figure out why, like, why am I feeling this way? And knowing that I don't have to feel this way. Um, you know, I could, I could look at the situation, I could analyze it, and I could choose my response to it. Um, that's been very helpful. Um, what else? Well, how have things with your, <laughs> your daughter changed in that period? Because you, you, you have a little one. Yes, I have a little one. Um, <laughs> but me, me being more in tune with myself and being more at peace with myself has really helped our situation, my daughter, me and my daughters. Um, when I came to Nori, or when I came to you, things were, <laughs> you know, things in my life were stressful all around. Um, again, I had tension with, you know, friendships, tension in my romantic relationship work and I took all that and I brought it home and I just was not getting along with my daughter you know we had a lot of um you know she she was being a kid a kid she's kids are gonna be kids but I think since I was already bubbling over Mm -hmm. you know emotionally that when she was being a kid a regular kid it just caused me to snap um, and I just really wanted to, um, and, and it just added to like my exhaustion and, and stress. Mm-hmm. But now we, we are good. And we've actually started going back to counseling. Um, she has a counselor or, um, a feelings teacher as she calls it. But, um, she's such a sweet kid and, and things between us, um, I'm more mindful about what I project onto her. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. So how do you feel now? So at the beginning, you had all these feelings going on and, you know, around self-worth and around anxiety and your panic attacks and the depression. How do you feel now? I feel peace. I feel I have peace right now. Um, and I'm, in, I'm inspired to do more with myself, um, to continue learning who I am. Um, well, I know who I am, but <laughs> I think just bringing all of me to the forefront, being very aware of who I am in all situations. Um, I feel good. I feel loved because I love myself. And not focus i think i I broke a habit or i'm I'm breaking a habit of seeking that external validation and attention and love and i'm loving myself i love my life i'm like you know what my life is not bad it's great i've actually accomplished a lot of things and there are a lot of great things about me (laughs) that i that i love and you know I keep saying this, but I think I think the fact that I wasn't loving myself is one of the reasons why I couldn't get somebody else to love me. Um, the may not have came out exactly right, but you you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel I feel it's a lot of peace, um, happier, and and inspired. Those would be the, the, the three feelings that I have right now. Yay. What would you tell someone that is questioning kind of working with me and just kind of um, coming on board? Like what kind of word will you leave them with? Okay. The first thing that comes to mind is just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Um, you you have to do something drastically different if you want to see drastically different results. Um, and like, like 
Laura, you said to me, the, you know, the very beginning, like, this is an investment in yourself. And I always hate it when people say that, like, oh, investment in yourself, whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, it, but it's true. Like, if I really look at, you know, where all my money is going and where all my time is going, I've spent more on way less. And, and that's so true. You know, um, don't worry about, I wouldn't, you know, worry about what you, the cost or, or anything. It's just, it is an investment in yourself and me being mean, how I am with money. I've always, I realize I've never really invested in myself, but when I have taken the step to say, okay, you know what, this is something that's really good for me, or let me test this out. I've never been disappointed. Um, but yeah, Nori is, Nori's not, she's not one of those people who are just going to tell you what you want to hear. Um, is not. Um, and she's very present, very present and always there in, in the way that you need her to be there, whether it's, you know, phone call, video chat, you know, whatever, like you could, you could really like always engage with her. She's, she's very present and she's very focused on you and what you need instead of, you know, being cookie cutter, um, you know, trying to force everyone to, to, to see things her way. No, it's a lot of times she's asking me questions and, and I'm coming to my own realizations as talking. It's not that she's trying to tell me what to do with my life or tell me how to think and feel. No, not like that. Nori is very much a conduit or I don't know. The word is just, <laughs> you know, just to help you see clear. Um, and she gives you that nudge you need to move forward. Um, so I would not be scared. I would take it as, you know, something to something to try um if you've never worked with a life coach just give it a try you're not going to lose anything from working with a life coach um you know it's not like buying a car or buying houses <laughs> it's, it's not and if it's if it doesn't work for you then it doesn't work for you but you can say that you've done it um but being scared to do it because you know you don't you don't know what it's going to look like is not a good reason to not try it. Um, and I vouch for her. You can always come, you can come speak to me anytime. Like if you really want the, want the real, <laughs> which is, I mean, there's, there's, I feel like I'm, I'm telling you what I need to tell you right now, but yes, it's again, no cookie cutter, no Miss Cleo call now. Like, let me fix your life, Ayana, or whatever her name is. It's, it's not like that. It's, it's not like, that all. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. I'm just laughing because this, this is like another. It's like how we talk all the time. So it's just like crying. I know. <laughs> right. Thank, Thank you. you so much for taking time to answer these questions and to share with people your your experience. Um, it's been a joy watching your transformation over the past almost twelve months. And I'm just so honored and grateful that you've entrusted me in this process to help you return back to yourself, back to your own home. So thank mm -hmm. you so much. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>